All right, guys, welcome back to Car Mechanic Simulator. Just, you know, thinking about things and trying to figure out what is wrong with this car. I had to have missed something. Okay, can I inspect this? Oh, I've done all the exhaust, but am I, I can inspect this now. Are you fucking serious? You're the problem? How do I take you off? I probably gotta take off the whole damn exhaust system, don't I? Up you go. Unless can I just do it from under here? Nope. Everything's gotta go. Okay, well let's let's go for it. Oh my god. Now I just need to take this down and pop the hood gradually. And I should be able to extract holy freaking bolts. Don't use an impact or anything. Just just go to town. Okay, let's go buy a new four-cylinder exhaust manifold. Can't believe that's what the problem was. <sighs> yep, lots of bolts. Let's get this thing back up in the air and reattach all the friggin' exhaust shit. Unfreaking believable. I didn't need to give the guy an oil change. But I saw the oil and, you know, it was black and below the min line. So I figured, ah, well, you know what? Maybe this guy does need a little bit of, uh, a little bit of lube in his, his engine. Maybe his engine will love him a little bit more than normal. Well, I guess, uh, saw me coming. Let me guess. You're happy now? Fucking prick. Alright, move on to the next vehicle. I don't even want to take that thing off the hoist. I'll let some lackey do it. Repair suspension. I'm back. My wife uses a sat-nav when she visits her mother, but it doesn't tell her about the quality of roads. Uh, it takes her on the worst roads I've ever seen. The suspension's a mess. You know what to do. Thanks. Yeah. Apparently rebuild your fucking car. 
Well, let's go. Get underneath here. Alright, let's uh, do a quick little inspection here. A little 210 point inspection. I can't inspect anything. Lovely. Okay, let's uh, yank off uh, the tie rod here or whatever connecting rod or fucking sway bar Joneser or Mike Tyson's punch out or whatever the hell it's called. Yeah, that's a uh, shot. Fuck okay, it, take it. That tire's shot. Get under here, take off this thing. Are still sitting here, eh? I fixed like what, 15 cars, and that car is still sitting there with the door open. Anyway, are there different types of struts, or are they all the same? ABSAA. -A. Actually, before I do anything, let me just check the conditions here. So I'm going to replace those and that sway bar link. I'm going to replace all the sway bar links. <sighs> Where the hell is it? Where, oh where? Oh, I should check the tie rods. You shot, you're good. You're fine. Mind you, I probably should yank those anyway and replace them. Okay, so we need a struts front right. Yes. Yes. Uh, da, da, da. I bet you these are shot. Uh, we'll grab some front springs. Might as well replace them. Alright, let's go and uh, put the front end back together somehow. Oh man, I forgot tie rods and tie rod ends. Forgot some tie rods and tie rod ends. Skeetle da da. Um, oh yeah, inner and outer. Okay. Get 
Okay, that side's done. Okay, we'll stuff this back together. I should be inspecting these. Good enough for me. Good enough for me. Really, bud, if you want your car to stay in good condition, quit letting your wife drive it. That's all I gotta say. Every time this guy's in my shop with this pink friggin' Genesis, he's always like, yeah, I let my wife drive it, and she went and fucking wrecked everything and things. And it's like, well, then you know what, bud? Do yourself a favor. Quit letting your fucking wife drive the car. Really? Can't look at that. Do I gotta go from underneath to do this one? I might have to. I'm pretty sure that's the case. Oh shit. I'll leave the fucking tire off. Let's uh. Oh, I was going the right way. Jack her up. Okay. Well, that thing's toast. That was pretty bad too. What the hell did she do to this poor car? Jesus fuck man. And she must have just kicked the living shit right out of it. Um yeah, might as well take whatever that is. Gotta take the exhaust off. Now those parts I might be able to rebuild. So before I go and buy new ones, let's see if we can build these. Yep. Perfect. Okay, so what have we got in here? That I can sell. That's garbage. Get rid of that. Garbage. Get rid of that. Garbage. Get rid of that. I'm just gonna dump everything that's garbage. Okay, so we need a shock absorber, two rear shock absorbers, two rear springs, and we're good. So, where can I find those? Jesus. Uh, one, two, and we need some springs. Get back underneath there and staple this all back together. Flapjack that into place. Flapjack that into place. 
We're good. Guess we can put this in the place. That's good to go. Toss that in. Toss that in. Awesome angle, bud. Camera angles. Always dicking with your gameplay. And survey says... Fuck! Let me guess, these things are probably shot. Do I gotta go from the engine bay to do this? Guess I can put the tire back on now. This is gonna be one long ass episode, people. I do apologize. All this just to put a fucking suspension in. And this, my friends, is why buying a car that says lady driven is never a good thing. Insulted by that comment, by all means, B. Um, yeah, that's not gonna work. You gotta do it from the front. Nope, because I can honestly say that buying a car that says lady driven is not a good thing because I have experience with that. See, when I bought my Pontiac Trans Am, it was lady driven, and she thought you only did an oil change every two years. So sure enough, when I got it, the first thing I did was I brought it into the shop and got an oil change, and the stuff that came out of it was probably not oil. It was pretty gruesome. She's like, well, I didn't really drive it much. I'm like, well, no, because it was your boyfriend's car, right? And she's like, yeah. He drove it more than me. It was his job to get the oil change. And, um, no, the boyfriend didn't drive it more than her. It literally sat in the garage until she took it. And then she was driving the ball bag off of it. And, um, she never took care of it. Can I inspect that? No, can't. Well, those are green. They're good enough. Good enough. Okay, are we good now? Can I fucking send this car packing? No! Wait, what does it say? Uh, what else could be broken in the suspension, for fuck's sakes? Like, does everything have to be green? If that's the case, then I need to remove this and this and that. Those tires are shot. I don't know, people, but I'm going to leave the episode as this, and we're going to carry on in another episode, so hopefully you're enjoying this. If you are, click that like button, and stay tuned for more Peace the Freak Out. Oh, you